there are a lot of external influences being imposed on us that are really out of our control. People are upset out there right now, and I get it. I have times where I'm just a little more testy than I usually am and really should be lately. The emotions that many are feeling are real, and the triggers, they can come out of nowhere right now. Please remember, have grace for yourself and mercy for others during this time. You know, as an extroverted leader, I prefer spending time face-to-face -face with people, encouraging them, empowering them to be who it is that God created them to be, and limiting that, minimizing personal relational connection and exposure kind of makes me sad for the place that we're in right now, a little lonely, and if I'm honest, angry at times. But then I remember, so what? When should what I want and what I prefer get in the way of somebody else's health? You know, our government and the health agencies are communicating and being very real with us right now. Their goal for us is to act as if each of us may already have this. They would like us to minimize personal contact, to slow its spread so our healthcare professionals can have the capacity to help the elderly and the immunocompromised, making sure that they'll get the care that they need when it is that they're going to need it. And so they're asking for our help. My temptation is to live in denial or, or, or to live in faith-filled, stubborn rebellion to the authorities or maybe live in fear of not being able to pay our staff or, or, or live in, in disappointment over not being able to love the way that I prefer to love. But being forerunners of love means we should choose for another's highest good before we're told that we need to, before the government says we have to, and definitely before it's too late. Overreacting in love is better than contributing to the spread and delaying action. So, we have made the difficult decision to pause our Sunday morning gatherings and now also to pause meeting in person for groups for the next little while. Most of our staff are working from home now and it isn't ideal, but limiting our personal contact is the best opportunity we have to slow this. I know it's the right call for a while. The lives of our seniors and, and the lives of those most susceptible to this are actually worth this inconvenience. If there was an enemy at work, I would think that he would want people to isolate to the point of despair right now. But we will not stop connecting. We will keep loving and we will keep encouraging each other. So we're going to try something pretty exciting. We are launching online church and online groups. We're going to email you with a link for online church in the next few days. And I want to challenge you. Show up in front of your computer this Sunday at 1030. Engage with us and in this together. And we're also going to be launching a brand new campaign called Connecting in the Chaos. You know, if you are already in a group, your leader will reach out to you in the next few days with the Google Hangout link for online group. Uh, make sure that you have a Google account prior. Uh, please... At a time when, when people need more contact due to shutdowns and temporary closures and cancellations, which create real world problems for many people and their families, the temptation will be to figure out life on your own. Don't. Reach out still. Connect still. If you need or have prayer, or uh, maybe call the office or email prayer at connectcranbrook.com. If you have needs right now, email needs at connectcranbrook.com and we're going to do our best to help everybody. If you want to join an online group, email info at connectcranbrook.com. You know, all these emails will be in the link below. We know that we're going to get through this, that years from now we'll be able to look back on this and be able to have greater perspective. But in the present, Remember all the good things that you have right now. All the things that you do have. Man, gratitude is key right now. My hope is that this propels us to greater intentionality in regards to connection. Connect even more, connectors. <laughs> more info is going to come. Just please, in the meantime, know that you are loved. Thanks for journeying with us through this. We love you guys.